Hey guys, in today's quick video we will be looking at the motorized fader. So here is one of the motorized faders. Uh, I got it out of the desk, uh, mixing desk, and I need to refurb it because it's filthy dirty. So notice that the actual cap is metal, it's not plastic and there's a reason for that. So we'll take that off and uh, looking at it, the actual fader is just a simple fader with a motor attached to it. I will show you in a second. So to open it up, uh, it's actually crimped. So we're going to uncrimp those. So I've actually done most of them. This is the last one to do. And there's a clip, that black clip. So I'm going to unclip that. That contains the gear. Let me just get that off. As you can see with the motor gear. So the next step is I'm going to pull that top layer off. That's the actual motorized part. So I'm going to go up and out. And this is just the motor part. So let's have a look at it. It's literally just the motor with the, with the gear head. That is all there is to it. This is just a simple fader, as you can see. There is nothing special to it. The only thing that is added is that little thing that makes it motorized. So let's open that up. This is the actual track that needs to be cleaned. Filthy dirty. And that's the thing that glides. So if I pull that out, You can actually get that little belt out of there easily. And now we have it. So I can literally put this back together without the motor or that belt and it'll turn into just a normal fader. So let's have a look closer at the construction of this. On the fader, there is actually uh, four wires. You can clearly see there is two brushes common together right here and there's there's a single brush that is common to the top and that actually connects to the middle um, cap so that is there and then that brush touches to the middle track that goes to that gray wire uh, brown wire and that that brown wire is a standalone so that middle track is not connected to anything else not even via the brushes so the connection is only made from the brown wire to the center track to that brush and to the outside metal cap. And that metal cap serves as a touch sensor. For example, if the um, fader is in motion and you touch the cap, it should stop. That's what it's there for. So it stops you from fighting against the motor. The rest of the uh, resistor is just simple. So we've got the yellow, uh, which is connected to uh, red via the track. So that's as your right and left contacts on the normal uh, pot. And then the uh, orange one, which is the first track that is uh, common, to the wiper itself that's common through those brushes. So that's that's all to it. I've got this electrical clean and loop solution. So I'm going to spray a little bit onto the cotton bud. And I'm going to wipe the track again, just with a straight down motion. There we go. You don't want to rub it for too long because you're going to be wiping off the carbon layer, which you don't want to do. So that's done. On the head, on the other hand, where the brushes are, you can rub it a bit longer because it doesn't have any carbon track on it. Be careful with those brushes because they are so sensitive. You can just slightly touch it and you'll bend them out of place. Before you put the clamping together, Make sure that it slides freely and nicely. Once it does, then I usually take a flat screwdriver and just bend them outwards or side to side. So that's it. The fader is nice and smooth now. Probably work it a little bit. Now we're going to put the cap back on. And now what I also like to do is hook up a curve tracer 
and uh, just have a look on the curve tracer if the uh, trim port is operational and um, there is no glitches. So let's do this right now. Okay, I'm about to hook up the curve tracer. And it's showing us the line, so it's at one end. And now we're slowly going to move the pod from one end to another. And as you can see, it is smooth and there is no glitches at all. Very smooth. So there is no problem with this trim pod or with this um, fader. If I would have seen something like jaggering like really rapid, that kind of been replicated here, but if it would be something like this, then that means there's a problem in the glitch. If during the cycle as we're fading it in and out, there would have been a twitching, that means there is a problem and it's a bad connection. But this port is done. So that's how the um, motorized faders work. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. My name is Max. Bye.